Welcome. <laughs> Saw 2 was released in 2005. It was hey everyone, so quickly before the start of this review, I accidentally messed up and said that James Wan is the director of this movie, and he is not. It's Darren Lynn Bozeman, who also directs the third Saw movie, the fourth Saw movie, and Spiral. I don't know why I said James Wan, but here's your little warning now. So when I say James Wan, it's not directed by James Wan. He only directed the first movie. It's Darren Lynn Bozeman that directed this movie. But let's get to the review directed by James Wan. It stars Donnie Wahlberg and Tobin Bell and is about the police on the hunt for the Jigsaw Killer. But the Jigsaw Killer might be on the hunt for one of the detectives. Specifically Eric Matthews, but kind of all of them. So right out of the bat, I'm just gonna say this is probably one of the better sequels of a major horror franchise that many people consider to be better than the original. Now, although I don't agree with that, I think this is probably the second best movie in the entire series of Nine, and is an excellent sequel. We have characters come back, we are introduced to some new ones. There's just a lot of fun to be had with this movie, so let's just start talking about some pros and cons. In terms of pros, I love how they- this is where the start of adding more blood and gore was, but this is where a lot of it was still practical, and it looks great. Everything looks so grimy and disgusting, and when someone gets cut or something, it just looks like they're gonna get syphilis or something like that. They're, these cuts are nasty. And I know syphilis is an STD, but if you look at the place that this game is taking in, I mean, look at, look at some of these images. I mean, boom, image right there. That looks disgusting. Look at this. Would you wanna live here? No. That image, that just looks like syphilis. In terms of other pros, I love that we get more of Tobin Bell in this movie. Now, since you've seen, or I hope you've seen the first movie when you're watching this, there's going to be a spoiler warning for the first movie. So there's your little warning right now. And here we go. Here we're going to start talking about it. In the first movie, it's revealed as the big plot twist who the Jigsaw Killer is. And it's being played, well, he's being played by Tobin Bell. And he's on the bathroom floor in the first movie. Now, in this movie, we get so much more Tobin Bell. And... He is so great and iconic as the Jigsaw Killer. I mean, I just really, it's so interesting because I think he is one of the most interesting horror villains that we have ever seen and his philosophies and everything. Now, although a lot of us, of course, hopefully, don't agree with what he's doing, but we can see why he's doing it. There's an understanding of the Jigsaw Killer, which is really important. And Tobin, Pe Tobin Bell, does a great job of exploring John Kramer and making this character that we could all kind of understand the reasoning why he's doing this. In terms of One Last Pro, I think the traps are pretty good in this movie. I don't think we have any as iconic as the bathroom trap or the reverse bear trap, but we do have some pretty cool ones. I mean, we have the box with the little spikes on it. We have the needle pit. There's some really cool traps in this movie that I really like. One of the biggest cons that I have with this movie, though, is some of the scripting. And what I mean by that is I feel like a lot of the decisions that the police make aren't smart at all and don't really make sense why they would be doing it. And I know that some of the point of the movie is to show that you know, these people are horrible people, but there's just some there's just some things with the police that they're being attacked by traps by John Kramer, but I don't fully get why. If his whole thing is to punish people who have done wrong, then why are you trying to hurt police officers that haven't done any wrong up to this point? Now, of course, we're going to find out some stuff with plot twists, with certain characters. I get that. But by no name, police officers, I, it really doesn't fit jigsaw's mo and i kind of have a, a little bit of a problem with that so to kind of wrap up my thoughts on this movie i think that the effects look really good i think that tobin bell is fantastic as the jigsaw killer and i think the traps are pretty interesting and overall the acting is a lot better than the first movie but i do have some issues like i said with the script 
and some of the decisions that the police will take in this movie. So now that you know my thoughts, it's time to get to our segment that we introduced in the Spiral Review, Thoughts with Julia. So Julia, you could take it away. Okay, so let me get right into this because your girl got some things to say. This is for Saw 2. I'm going to preface this by saying that I thoroughly love the Saw series, like it's mad good, but not all of it, hence why um, I have some mixed feelings about all of the movies. So for Saw 2, I especially liked how the code to the lock was in the back of all of their necks because it really added to the tension between all the characters in terms of the traps. I think my favorite trap was the razor box. So even though this bitch was mad and stupid for voluntarily putting her hands in this box, it was the realization that she can't get them out that is so good. And I love how Xavier just left her there, got the code, like lifted her hair up, got the code and left. That was just literal perfection. And so I personally hate his character so much, but he really added to this tension and frustration that kept moving the plot forward. So that was a really good aspect. I think that they developed his character in a really good way and make you hate him, but like in a good way. I don't know if that made any sense, but that's what we're going with. Anyway, it wasn't as scary as the first one. It didn't have that like tension that the first one created, but I definitely think that it was more of like a mental trip, but overall it was really good. And I think I would give it like a 7.2 out of 10. So thank you for listening to my little rant. Thank you, Julia, for your thoughts on Saw 2. So, overall, I'd give this movie a 7.75 out of 10, and I do recommend it. I think this is a great sequel in the Saw franchise, and unfortunately, it gets a lot worse from here. So, for the next few Saw reviews, we're going to be going on a plummet of bad movies. So, thank you everyone for watching this review, and thank you to Julia for having her own little segment and providing me with something to put in the video extra. It's nice to have her on. She knows the Saw series as one of her, it is her favorite series. So of course I had to have something for her so that she could say her thoughts. And also I don't know her thoughts on all of the movies. So it was interesting hearing it and seeing what she had to say about this movie. But thank you again for ever watching this review and be on the lookout for the Spiral Spoiler Review with Austin Michael. I am really excited for that. But let's flash forward to the next review.